They told me, boys, don't cry or play with Barbies. So my whole life I've tried my hardest to be the man that they wanted me to be. Show your week day five prompt growth event. Shoyo comes home. Pros Brazil Shoyo 21 gets welcome back to Japanese soil after two years away. One thing Shoyo was looking forward to coming back from Brazil was his family. His mom and younger sister, as well as the four crows who were with him as he grew into the person he is today. Shoyo was listening to music, phone in hand and earbuds in as he saw Japan from above. He was finally coming home, and apparently all his friends were coming to get him. Unfortunately, most of the club couldn't come get him because of clashing schedules, but Suga promised he could. And then he was home. His feet finally walk on Japanese soil. He hurried towards the bag claiming area not knowing his friends would tackle him to the floor. Hinata! Shoyo! Shoyo-kun! Boge! Shoyo? The only one left standing was Kei, hand outstretched for him to take. Shoyo smiled and took his hand. He and Kei immediately helped their friends up from the floor. You guys! I didn't think you'd actually tackle me! Boge! To think you would actually grow muscles. Of course I'd grow muscles. I trained hard. Ch I bet you didn't grow any taller. But I did. Show you, you're so tan. I think you grew a couple inches. Hmm. Two inches, actually. Wow, didn't think you were still growing. Mean. Show you, we missed you. By a lot. Also, you look good. Damn. You are so fine. Ak, thank you, Suga Senpai. Bakatobio, mean. Hito chan, I miss you too. Shoyo, you have to come drink with me. Tadashi, he just got off a plane. Boo, you spoil sport. I mean, yeah, I could go drinking with you tonight. Yes! Shoyo, it was in your schedule to try out for Musubi. In two days? Fuck you, Suki. Wow, you only ever use that when I contradict you. You need dick. Suga-san? I agree with you, senpai. Loosen up, Beanpo. Sure you can probably catch the train tomorrow to Osaka. Hmm, maybe I can. We should go. Ah, my bags! Already here. Kageyama raised the bags already in his arms. And I already booked a taxi to K and Tadashi's apartment. But, uh, there's a lot of us. Me and Shoya can take the other cab. We're three grown, overly sized men and a woman, Tadashi. What do you want us to do? Shrink? I wish you would. K scoffed while Tobio bonked his head. They finally decided to put Tobio and Tadashi with Shoyo in one taxi and the rest went with the next taxi. Tadashi and Kei welcomed Shoyo into their shared apartment and placed his bag on the free space. Sorry it's cramped. Somebody couldn't stop buying stuff we don't use. It's fine. Hey, you said I can. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky that I tolerate you. Aw, I love you too. Gross. It's like they're married. I have a boyfriend. You do? You never told me this! It's no biggie, just a pro volleyball player. Which one? Sheesh, don't ask, we're here for you. Ack, sorry, but, but you're right. Maybe next time then. Man, I wish I had a boyfriend. Mm, Daichi son. Psh, fuck my boyfriend. So, like, fuck Daichi son? Don't ask. Okay, sure. So what's this I've heard of Hinata being married to his work like Kagiyama? True. No, don't say it. I swear I'll get a lover soon. <laughs> From just how hot you are in person, I don't doubt it. Hitoka, you are so thirsty for my muscles. You want a date, sweet cheeks? Lamau, no. I am gay as hell. But seriously, you know, you're so hot and tan and Jesus Christ, you really grew out of high school. Hey, Suka-san might not know, but I grew muscles back in third year. 
You call them muscle mass? But it's true! Are you sure? You seem very lanky then. K was also lanky. I'm lanky even now. No way. That's a lie. You play in professional volleyball. How do you know that? Whoopsie. Yamaguchi. Look at what's Hitoka's idea. I feel so betrayed my own best friends didn't tell me and my other best friends kept it a secret. What was me, Suga-san? Shoya pretended to faint on top of Sugawara's lap, the older giggling at his playfulness. It's refreshing to see that you still act like a kid, Hinata-kun. Shoya immediately scrambled up, wanting to clear his name. Eh? I'm not a kid, Suga-san! See? I don't look like one! He flexed his arm, curling it upwards to show a bulge in his muscles. See? I still think you look like a kid. <laughs> they easily fell into banter, the five of them embarrassing Shoyo at any chance they could. It was until the moon rose that Suga had to go because he had classes. Shoyo was extremely happy that he came to fetch him and bid him a thousand well wishes goodbye. He was finally home after so long. Shoya definitely agreed to laugh at how the five of them barely fit on the floor when they slept that night. To be continued.